Welcome to The Agenda with Ari, where bold conversations and real solutions meet. Join Ari Childry as she dives into the issues that matter most. Ready to break barriers and build bridges? Let's get started. Okay, guys, welcome to The Agenda. We're hoping this will kind of be a companion piece to the written articles, and sometimes we'll do videos, sometimes we plan on doing just the audio uh, type of podcast, all based on what I have time to do. But now we are at the one week mark from election night, and I know a lot of us have been reeling from the results. Um, I've talked to a lot of fellow Democrats over the course of the time frame, and a lot of people have just really felt down in ways that I haven't seen in a long time. You know, one person uh, compared it to the Hillary Clinton loss in 2016, but I really and truly think we're seeing something even different than that. Um, it, It seems like it hit harder for a lot of us this time around. And I know a lot of people are at that give up stage. I've, I've seen a lot of people who don't even want to hear anything positive at this point. And I want to remind people that the things that were worth fighting for when Kamala was on the ticket, they're even more important that we fight for them now. And yes, the fight is going to be harder. But a lot of you got involved because you didn't want your daughters to live in a world where they had fewer rights than you do. And the fact of the matter is, they are going to live in that world with fewer rights. The thing that will make a decision about how long they have to live in that kind of world is going to be you. It's going to be whether you step up. It's going to be whether you get involved. We have four years that we're going to have to deal with this. And part of that is we're going to have to fight back. We're going to have to encourage our Democratic um, elected representatives and any common sense Republican representatives, if they exist, um, to continue to push back against the dismantling of the Democratic system. Democracy is important. It's worth fighting for. We're also going to have to grapple with messaging and how going into future elections we're going to deal with these issues Mm -hmm. and and really be able to kind of put out there when we succeed and when we when we fail, how we're going to talk about those those economic issues, how we're going to talk about all of these issues that have come into place. The one thing as a party that we don't need right now is the blame game. You know, trying to throw this on Kamala Harris and claim that she ran this horrible campaign. Guys, she ran a campaign that she had with a hundred days. We have never, ever put any candidate under that kind of pressure. Never. But it happened. And you can... You can blame Biden and say, well, maybe Biden should have gotten out earlier. You can blame the representatives and the officials that tried to push him out and say maybe that was a mistake. But the reality is, is this is where we are. This is where we live. And Kamala Harris gave a forceful campaign for the time frame she had. You know, there are stumbles along the way in any campaign. And the difference is, is most of us, when you stumble in a campaign, it's running long enough Mm -hmm. for you to be able to correct that, for you to be able to talk about, uh, you know, the misstatements and, and clarify. She had to be on point every single time. And, you know, people were talking about, well, Kamala didn't really go into detail about her policy. Her answers weren't good enough. You make that argument however you want, but the fact of the matter is, is she had answers. Donald Trump didn't even give answers to questions. Ask the man about the economy and you hear about an award that he claims to have won in Michigan, even though that award didn't even exist. So 
we've got to stop with that. I've heard people criticizing, well, it's trans issues, and we need to back away from that. Guys, we don't throw away our values because of a lost election. We've been there before. We've lost elections before. Yes, the stakes were higher this time, Mm -hmm. but you don't throw away minority communities and your commitment to liberty and justice and equality simply because we lost an election. You have to wonder, for these representatives that are saying, well, we need to run away from trans rights, and I'll get back to that in a second, but you have to wonder, what would they have done during the civil rights movement? You know, if the pressure came on people, uh, on on representatives then, would they have backed away from supporting Dr. King? You know, what would they have done during the Stonewall riots? Would they, as Democrats, have argued that, well, we need to back away from gay rights or during the 80s or during the HIV epidemic in the early stages? You know, all of these things we have going on, and they're wanting to run away. It's the wrong thing to do. And getting back to what I was going to say, an important thing to keep in mind is no candidate ran on trans issues on the Democratic side. If you want to know who ran on trans issues, it was the Republicans. They provided misinformation, they lied, they used scare tactics, and they tried to create, like I've said in speeches before, they tried to create a boogeyman because they sure as hell can't create policy that's going to help us. So we have a job to do over the next many, many months Mm -hmm. and years to come to safeguard democracy, to fight. We're coming up in 2026. We'll have an election. It'll have local races. We'll have, you know, the state executive races, the whole gubernatorial matchup from um, secretaries of state to governor to lieutenant governor, We're going to be having a special election at some point in time to fill the Senate seat that's left vacant um, by J.D. Vance. We've got to look at that. We're going to have these state house races again. These are the important things that we've got to focus on. We've got to rally the troops, and we've got to get in this. You're worried about the way that things are going to go? I am too. But I'm going to tell you, there is one thing that will never fix a bad situation, and that's sitting on your ass and doing nothing. So take the time, recuperate, get yourself feeling better, and then you've got to get back into the game because democracy needs you. Democracy requires it, and we have to fight for a better Ohio and for a better United States, and we do that one election at a time. Hope you'll join us. You can also hop over on Substack if you're watching this or listening to this on another station. The address will be on the screen. Um, You know, right now our Substack is free, so feel free. I'm going through my journey as a candidate, and I hope you'll follow along and kind of hear the stories along the campaign trail and join us again soon. Have a great day, and keep fighting. We're worth fighting for. (music) 